welcome to this BuyBot Pro video, I'm Karen. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about VAT. So if you're in the US, then obviously VAT isn't something you need to worry about. And when you're using BuyBot Pro, you need to go to the little wheel and the customer panel, and you need to just select not applicable US and Canadian sellers. So select that, click save and sync, and you're done. Okay, great. However, if you're in the UK, then VAT is something that is going to affect you, whether you are VAT registered or whether you are not. <clears throat> so it's really important, excuse me, it's really important that you let Buybot Pro know what your VAT status is so that it can properly analyse a deal for you and work out all your costs. Otherwise, whether you're VAT registered or not, you're going to find that you've got some surprises coming if you don't let BuyBot Pro do that. So let's talk through what the situation is, okay? So if you're a UK seller and you are not registered for VAT, then you need to select the non-VAT registered option in BuyBot Pro. Now, I'm not an accountant and I'm not here to give you accountancy advice and you should, of course, contact a professionally qualified person to give you accountancy and VAT advice but what i'm going to share with you is my understanding of how things work just from a very basic point of view as a seller so you have some basic knowledge but as i say you should go and get professional advice when you're talking about vat so as a non-vat registered seller you have to pay vat on the cost of the product so when you buy your product it's already got vat included in that price <clears throat> so you pay vat at that point and as well, you have to pay 20% VAT on top of the Amazon fees. Now, if you're looking on the Amazon seller app and having a look at your sales on there, that does not include, the fees they put on there does not include VAT. So you'll always have a difference between the Amazon seller app and BuyBot Pro. And BuyBot Pro is correct. Well, Amazon's correct, but Amazon just aren't giving you the VAT. They're not giving you the full picture. So Amazon will send you an invoice with the VAT on it and such like. So you'll get charged that VAT on their Amazon fees because they, they have to send that to the VAT man. So you're going to get charged that sum. And you need to make sure that you're taking that into account when you're doing your workings out for your deal because 20% on the Amazon fees can make a difference. So you need to make sure that you're choosing non-VAT registered. And that's what you'll find is a difference between BuyBot Pro and even some other softwares that don't take into VAT into account fully. BuyBot Pro does it fully for you. The VAT in BuyBot Pro is managed by UK accountants, not by us. So the whole thing is done with accountants, through accountants. So you can be sure it's doing it correctly for you. And obviously, as I say, you should always take professional advice and always check anything that we're telling you because you should take your own advice. But you know, we are doing our best to help you and give you all that information. So that's what happens if you're not VAT registered. You pay VAT on the cost of the product, and which is already included in the price of the product. In the UK, you know, if, if a product is $9.99, that's already including the VAT. In the US, if you go to the US, they tend to advertise a product for £8 plus tax. Whereas here in the UK, we sell it already including the VAT. So you've already paid that. You wouldn't even realise you'd paid that probably. So, but then you've got your 20% on top to pay for your Amazon fees and you need to take that into account. Now, if you're VAT registered, and then you are probably standard accounting. That is the standard way, the, the basic way of being VAT registered. Now, what that means that if you're VAT registered, then you can claim back the VAT on the cost of the product, assuming the product is not zero rated for that, because certain products have no VAT. So like grocery products don't have VAT, but something silly like, like if, you, if you're buying biscuits that have chocolate in them, they, do have, they don't have VAT, but if you have biscuits that have chocolate on the top of them, therefore they they're called a luxury item and they do have VAT on them. Certainly that's what I was told very recently. So you have to be very careful about the VAT. It, you know, it's a real specialist subject. But if you're um, 
back registered, so you'll be standard accounting, and therefore you can claim back the VAT on the cost of the product. So you can claim back that VAT, and you can claim back the VAT on, or, or Amazon just won't charge you, the VAT on the fees. You can claim it back. So the equivalent is that that gets balanced out. However, you've got to pay to the VAT man, you know, 20%, assuming it's not a zero rated product or a different VAT rate. Most products are 20%. There are some, some that aren't, but most of them are 20%. You then have to pay 20% of your sale price to the VAT man. So as an Amazon seller, you will be worse off if you're uh, VAT registered. So you want to stop doing that for as long as legally possible. Obviously, once you hit the threshold, then you have to get VAT registered and you'll just have to take the hit. But, you know, so you want to stay not being VAT registered for as long as possible as a seller on Amazon. But once you, you do become VAT registered, the best thing to do is just to push right the way through it. And then you'll, you'll, you'll notice less impact on your sales because you'll be getting more sales, so you'll be getting more profit. So that's how standard accounting works. So you can claim back the money on the product, assume it's not VAT, VAT, zero VAT rated. You can claim back the VAT on the Amazon fees, but you have to pay the VAT on the sale price. Now, flat rate scheme is different again, and most sellers on Amazon would not be flat rate scheme. It would not really make sense to be an Amazon seller and be flat rate scheme registered. You're, you're, it's costing you a lot of money, and I would suggest if you are, you go and have a chat with your accountant because you need to make sure that's the best thing for you. But flat rate scheme means you pay less VAT to the government based on the sale price, but you can't claim back the VAT. So whereas if you're standard accountant, you can claim back the VAT on the product and on the Amazon fees. If you're flat rate scheme, you can't claim back that VAT, but you don't pay as much on the sale price. But as an Amazon seller, if, if your business is mainly based on retail and Amazon sales and things like that, and you don't have some like big hidden other business that would make sense to be flat, flat rate scheme, then you probably shouldn't be flat rate scheme if you're an Amazon seller. So go and have a chat with your accountant about that. So just to recap, to make it as clear as I can, if you're in the US, you don't have to worry about VAT, you've got your own tax laws and you just choose not applicable. If you are not VAT registered in the UK, you choose non-VAT registered. And that will mean that you pay VAT on the cost of the product when you buy it. And you're gonna pay 20% on the Amazon fees when you sell the product. So that's where your VAT liability comes in. If you're standard accounting, you can claim back that cost on the product. You can claim back the Amazon fee, the VAT on the Amazon fees, but you have to pay VAT on the sale price of the product. And if you're flat rate scheme, go and talk to your accountant about whether that's the right thing to be doing in your business if, if your business is mainly selling on Amazon. So that's my understanding of VAT in the UK. But as I say, please do take professional advice. I am not an accountant. I'm not qualified to give you advice, financial advice. So please go and have a chat with an accountant. But that is my understanding of how the VAT system works in the UK. The very basics of it, of course, because it's a very complicated system. And as, as I also say, Bybot Pro is managed by, the VAT in Bybot Pro is managed by UK accountants and Amazon specialist UK accountants at that. So the, it's all correct in Bybot Pro and it will work it all out for you. But make sure you choose your correct VAT status in order to allow Bybot Pro to work that out for you. So you choose your right status and you go down and you click save and sync and then Bybot Pro will work out all your VAT for you and it'll keep you on the right track, making sure you're making the profits that you really are thinking you're making in your Amazon business. So give us a thumbs up. I hope that helped cover the basics of VAT. Subscribe to the channel and ring the little ding dong bell and I'll see you next time.